What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel. So uh, if you love looking good, if you enjoy smelling great as well, I think you will enjoy the content here on this channel. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button and also enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. So that way, anytime I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So on today's list, guys, I'm going to be jumping into some of the best fragrances that are currently on the market right now in 2023 now when compiling this list this is this isn't necessarily my favorite fragrances but right now for the average person that again has that one to five fragrance uh rotation that they uh generally tend to go with when you go out into the big box retail stores you can find these fragrances so they're really good and there's three things that i've taken into consideration when compiling this list number one is affordability Number two is accessibility. And the third thing is going to be that mass appeal. So does it smell good to most people? Now, as much of a fan as I am of uh, Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mall, I would never put that on a list like this because that is definitely a niche fragrance and acquired taste. My taste, of course, but it's an acquired taste. I don't, I wouldn't say that you know, eight out of 10 people that put their nose on that is going to say, oh my God, this smells good. So when you're looking at that mass appeal, these are fragrances that I'm pretty much safe saying, look, most people that smell this is probably going to like this DNA accessibility. Can I go into a store and get this? As much as I love Boulder City Victoria's fragrances, which is a house I'm exploring right now, they're not that accessible. So you won't find fragrances like that uh, on this list as well. So, you know, are the fragrances accessible? And then affordability, you know, I didn't want to put anything on this list that costs over 300 bucks, pretty much. So uh, everything is going to be at full retail around that three, 350 price point. Nothing more expensive than that. Um, so, again, I think more affordability. You're not going to find anything that's 500 or 800 dollars on this list. So that affordability plays into this as well. So I have 10 fragrances that are currently on the market that I think you guys need to go check out. So if you want to see what's on the list. You know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. <laughs> Shout out to the new baby. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into the video. Now, before I get into these 10 fragrances, I want to say, and I'll be remiss for those of you that are new to this channel, I personally did serve as creative director on five fragrances at this point. Uh, one of them is this, Lyric. We also have Old Devil Nair. Uh, we have Sotorio Nui, Divine Aphrodisiac. And uh, which one am I living off? Lyric. Oh, Serenade, which is sadly discontinued. But you guys can pick up my fragrances. Right now, we're running a promotion. So if you buy one fragrance, use the code BOWTIE25, you'll get 25% off. And then use the code BOWTIE50, and you'll get 50% off if you get two or more fragrances the entire purchase. You're getting these fragrances for less than designer prices. And they are a lot better than any designer fragrance you're going to find on the market. So make sure you show some support to your boy by going over to NovitasPerfums.com and adding these fragrances to your collection if you don't have them or if you need backup bottles uh, in the collection. Now is the perfect time to do so. So the first fragrance up on the list today, this is a fragrance that I highly recommend. Not a lot of people are talking about this fragrance, number one. Number two, it's something different. It's a designer fragrance because... You know, designer fragrance market is really watered down. So this is one I think you guys need to check out. This one is called Onyx and it's from the brand of MGM. Very unique bottle presentation and the fragrance smells absolutely phenomenal. You're going to get some ginger in this, some lavender. Uh, it starts to sweeten up when it dries down with some tonka bean. To me, it's kind of a mix of like a Prada Lunarosa Carbon meets Dior Sauvage. So very mass appealing DNA. All right, so I think most people that smell this fragrance is going to think it smells good. I don't think there's many people that will smell this and say, 
they don't like the way that it smells. Now, so that, you know, mass appeal is there. The affordability is there. I think this may be uh, around 115 bucks or something like that for this bottle, maybe 110. So it's affordable in my humble opinion. And then it's accessible. Most Macy's and places, Dillard's uh, of the world, you can go in there and find this currently on the shelf. So it meets the criteria. And again, this is really a nice designer fragrance. It gives us something unique, at least from the bottle presentation, man. Again, and from a brand we don't hear a lot from. So check this one out, guys. I highly recommend this one from the brand of MCM. Uh, I think I, I hope I said MCM earlier. <laughs> so this is called Onyx. Now, the next fragrance I highly recommend you guys check out. I want to say this as well. You're going to see designer fragrances on this list. Then you're going to see high-end designer fragrances. And then you'll see a few niche. And I'll explain in a moment. But this one from the brand of Ralph Lauren. This is Polo Red Parfum. Polo Red Parfum. Love this fragrance right here. That blood orange opening. Blood orange lavender. You're going to get this kind of powdery nuance as well that comes in here from Oris. And then you're going to get musk on the dry down. Very kind of traditional in line with a lot of the fragrances that are being released nowadays in the designer uh, fragrance space. But I really, really enjoy this fragrance, man. A lot of compliments wearing this fragrance. So get your nose on it. From the brand of Ralph Lauren, this is Polo Red Parfum. The next fragrance that I highly recommend comes from the brand of uh, Giorgio Armani. And this is Aqua Digio Parfum. Aqua Digio Parfum, without a doubt, an amazing Fragrance released from uh, from the brand of Giorgio Armani. You got this marina cord up top. You have geranium, patchouli. Very, very, very reminiscent of Aqua Digio Pro Fumo, which is my favorite uh, Aqua Digio flanker so far. This one is kind of Aqua Digio Pro Fumo with a little bit more of a, a freshness to it, but I, which I would kind of akin to Aqua Digio Essenza. So it's kind of like a merging of those two fragrances, unfortunately. Uh, Aqua Digio Essenza is discontinued, so you really can't get your hand on that unless you're going to spend an exorbitant amount of money to get it. But I love this one because I love Profumo so much. Is it kind of redundant? I guess. But if you don't have Profumo, definitely. This is one I highly recommend. It's one of the better smelling designer fragrances currently on the market. This is Aqua Digio. Parfum. The next fragrance comes from the, the brand of Bulgari, and this is Bulgari Man Rain Essence. Loved it from the first time I put my nose on it. You get green tea musk, uh, this white lotus note kind of gives this kind of aquatic, almost airy nuance. And that's where that the imagery could be created for like a rain kind of fragrance, you know, kind of when you go outside the way the air kind of smells when you go outside after it has rained i mean that's here a really great fragrance uh, rain oftentimes afterwards is, is kind of calming a lot of people like to sleep when it's raining you know it kind of creates that vibe that t note in here gives that relaxing vibe to, to the fragrance and again it really really smells good bulgari is a fragrance brand i think that's really kind of underrated um, they do some really good designer fragrances and at, a, at a, an affordable price point. So definitely recommend this one from the brand of Bulgari. This is Bulgari Man Rain Essence. All right, so now we're gonna transition from the designer fragrances and go to the high-end designer fragrances. And I've you know, talked a lot about this fragrance here recently. It definitely checks all the boxes. Well, the accessibility may not be as much, but there's only really one place you can find it. But you can get it online or in the store. It's from the brand of Louis Vuitton. This is called Imagination. Imagination, man, compliment machine. There is a, uh, this is fruity up top of melange and combination of, of citrusy, fruity nuances up top. This one also has that note, a note of tea. And this as well, some ambroxan on the dry down, some musk. It's just a highly complimented fragrance. It is so easy to wear, but it is massively pleasing uh, to the nose. Guys, listen. I'm going to be continuing to sing the praises of this fragrance because it's so good. This is one of those ones you just got to have it in your collection, man, because you can just throw this on. You know you're going to be one of the best smelling people in the room. So check it out from the brand of Louis Vuitton. This is just my imagination.
Now we're going to step up to some niche fragrances that are kind of accessible out there on the market. And um, these are fragrances as well that I think a little bit more easier to wear. And I'll get into explaining some of the reasons why when I introduce these fragrances. But if you're out there right now looking for to kind of step up into the niche game, I would definitely recommend this one from the brand of Mancera. This is Cedrat Boise Intense. Now there's the original one as well. You can get that one, but the intense version, I definitely highly recommend the intense version as well. It has all the nuances of the original Cedrat Boise that really made it what it was. You know, that kind of nice bergamot citrus opening. You got the sandalwood in here that provided the creaminess, the leather. Uh, that kind of provided that slight smokiness, which is why I think some people kind of compared it to Creed Aventus for so long, although they're a lot different. But they added some Cambodian oud to this composition, so made it a little bit earthier, a little bit grittier and woodier. Um, but again, it's as good as the original Sudrop Wale. So check this one out. I think most of you will probably find it very appealing. This is called Sudrat Boise Intense. All right, guys, the next fragrance that I would definitely recommend you guys pick up in 2023 is from the brand of Creed, and this is Aventus Cologne. This is Aventus Cologne, man. In short, this is a fresher interpretation of the original Aventus. It's not as smoky. There's a slight hint of that smokiness in here, but it's not as smoky and it doesn't have the pineapple. Instead, this fragrance actually uses mandarin orange in the opening and it's fresher because of the use of ginger uh, in here. That ginger is fresh, a little spicy uh, as well. So they've kind of used that combination there instead of pineapple. And um, again, this is just a phenomenal fragrance. You talk about compliments. This is probably the one fragrance on this list if you're interested in compliments that rivals imagination from Louis Vuitton. This is almost 100% of the time I wear this. If I'm out in public around people, usually somebody compliments me and so anyway this is one i highly recommend as well that's out there right now on the market you can actually find this at discounters you know for around a 250 price point definitely worth it in my humble opinion from the brand of creed aventus cologne now this next fragrance actually comes from the brand of roger parfums and this is from the parfum cologne collection so it's a lot less expensive than most roger fragrances this is elysium o intense now, again, I'm not gonna knock the original Elysium here as well, but this is just newer. So that's why I put this on the list, uh, probably around that $300 price point. This is a, uh, the best way to describe it, because there's so many notes in a Rosa fragrance. This is a more green interpretation of the original to me. Just to make it simple, uh, like I said, guys, very mass appealing. I think most of you that go out there and put your nose on this, you're going to really like it. So that's why it is on the list. You talk about a fragrance that meets the criteria of mass appealing. My God, this stuff is just phenomenal. So check this one out from the brand of Rosa Parfum. This is Elysium O Intense. Now, a fragrance that I helped to, I think, bring a lot of attention to in the fragrance community because from the moment I smelled it, fell in love with it. This is from the brand of Bond Number 9, and this one is called Lafayette Street. This is Lafayette Street, man. I love this fragrance. You're gonna get some apple in here. You're gonna get some ambroxan uh, as well. And then when it dries down, man, the tonka bean vanilla combination. Just love it. I love tonka bean uh, in fragrances. And this stuff right here, my gosh. This is another one that's highly complimented as well if you care about compliments. But I know that most guys that put their nose on this and then the women that smell this on guys are going to think that this fragrance smells absolutely phenomenal. Oh man, there's a little bit of a spice in this. I think there's some coriander or cardamom in here as well, if I'm not mistaken. Just check it out. Get your nose on it, guys, if you can. I love this one. I highly recommend this one still in 2023 from the brand of Bond Number 9. This is Lafayette Street. And last but not least, uh, Oud is a note that is really, uh, in most people's mind, difficult for somebody that's kind of starting out to digest, but it won't be in this particular fragrance. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. And if you need something for a sexy date night or a formal uh, situation, doesn't get much better than this fragrance that I'm gonna talk about. From the brand Amazing Francis Kirkjohn, this one is called Oud Satin Mood. 
Ood set and moved from MFK. Um, most of you guys kind of, of course, know about this fragrance, but it has two different varieties of rose. I'm a, definitely a huge uh, fan of rose-based fragrances. It's kind of powdery as well with some violet uh, in there. And it's just, it's just super sexy, man. Oh, my gosh. Every time I smell it, man, it's like the first time. You're going to need one in your, in your collection that 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 is just next level for a date night situation. Again, something that's close and counter appropriate, something that can transition from there to, again, a formal occasion. This is the fragrance I highly recommend to people. And again, this will give you an introduction to the note of Oud. And I really don't think this will be off putting to most people to come into contact with it. It's not animalic in any kind of way. Uh, is very much well disguised by that really seductive rose uh, that you get in here and that powdery nuance from that violet. Phenomenal fragrance, guys. Highly recommend this one still in 2023 from the brand of Amazing Francis Kirkton. This is Oud Satin Mood. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys watching. I know you don't have to watch what you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take out a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.